This video looks at two examples of quadratic simultaneous equations and it shows how you can find values of x and y algebraically which satisfies both equations. So in example one we are given two equations and the question is where are these two equations equal to each other? In other words where are the y's equal? But if the y's are equal then therefore these two expressions here must also be equal. So the question is asking where does x squared plus 7x minus 2 equal 2x minus 8? Now to solve this sort of equation you need to get all your terms to one side and have equal to 0. Now the x squared terms on the left so I want to get rid of the 2x by taking away 2x and I'll get rid of the minus 8 by adding 8. But what I do to the right hand side I must do to the left hand side. So if I take away 2x I get a 5x and if I add an 8 this becomes plus 6 and the right hand side is left as equaling 0. So this becomes quite a simple equation to solve because it factorises. 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So we're left with x plus 2 and x plus 3 equals 0. So these two things times to make 0. So either x is equal to minus 2 because minus 2 plus 2 is 0 or x must equal minus 3 because minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Now we're almost finished, but there's a y value as well, and we know y equals 2x minus 8. So if x is minus 2, y must equal 2 lots of minus 2 minus 8. Well, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Take 8 minus 12. Or y is 2 times minus 3 minus 8, which is minus 6 take 8 which is minus 14. And there are answers. Actually two sets of coordinates. The first coordinate is minus 2, minus 12. The other coordinate is minus 3, minus 14. So these values are the solutions to these two equations and it's where the actual curves and lines intersect. Now in the second example it's similar but whereas these are both y equals this one's y equals, but this one here is not. However, there's a little trick we do. Now, this y here, where they intersect, where they're the same, must equal this y here. So, if we look at the first equation, we have an x squared plus a y squared. But we know that y equals x plus 4. So I can replace this y by an x plus 4. So we get an x plus 4, where the y was, but it's squared. And this must equal 8. We now expand this. Now don't forget that x plus 4 all squared means x plus 4 bracket x plus 4. And that equals 8. Now to expand this, you use your normal expansion of brackets. It gives us an x squared. 4x and 4x is 8x. And 4 times 4 is 16. We have an equals 8. And we have an x squared. We then simplify. x squared plus x squared is 2x squared. Plus an 8x. Plus 16 equals 8. We now want it to equal 0, so we must take away 8, so that will cancel off. However, if we take away 8 there, we must do so there as well. So we get 2x squared plus 8x plus 8 equals 0. The next trick is to look for a common factor. I can divide by 2. So I'm left with x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. 
This now factorises. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4. So we get x plus 2, x plus 2 equals 0. And so the solution, and the, the one solution, is x must equal minus 2. Because minus 2 plus 2 is 0, and the same in that bracket there. Almost done. y is equal to x plus 4, which is minus 2 plus 4, which equals 2. And the coordinate we're left with is minus 2, 2. And there's one bit of language which you'll meet certainly in AS maths if you choose to do so, which is when there's only one solution, it's called a tangent.